Here's a quick sketchbook tour, just a few pages in. This one I actually finished last night. I had skipped the first couple of pages and went back there yesterday. Uh, one of the snow shadows that had kept catching my eye. An underpainting here was raw sienna. I really like how that shows the light coming uh, through the back, which is actually how it was. Another one with raw sienna, but I added white to it, so it's not quite as golden coming through. This one I tried uh, with my gouache, uh, Liquitex acrylic gouache, to use some bright colors to try to get some pop there. I'm not, sh not loving it. Maybe I'm not finished yet, and this perspective is wrong, but it's okay. This is one of the school that I did with three primary colors only, plus white, as a bit of a... Um, demonstration. This is uh, Bruges, the square in Bruges. And I've got to do something with the sky here, but I'm not sure what to do with that yet. And when I had some time trying to think about what to do, I did a few abstract uh, paintings and exercises on different pieces of paper and the one that I really liked I I put here and I liked it so much that I took a little sketchbook uh, that's been sitting on my shelf and painted the cover so I painted the cover like this and the whole thing looks like that and I really like it the other sketchbook that I have is a Royal Talons sketchbook first time I've used this brand and I did a uh, sort of a front cover I had to do this a couple of times because I used um, ink in my in my brush and I loved how the black lines looked over the yellow but it kept sticking so I put on some matte medium to try to hold it in. And of course, the ink wasn't waterproof, so it smudged. I tried it again, but it does still keep sticking. Uh, the first couple of pages here, I was using that ink brush. Um, it's this one, Pentel Art Brush. And there's a number here, 101. And I love how the ink comes out so quickly and smoothly. It, I find it very enjoyable to use, but the ink is not waterproof. So if, um, if it's just ink, that's fine. Here were some experiments with some different dip pens and different lines. And the first few pages I was creating just some different mark making exercises that I can use to photocopy and then put into some collage work. Here are some little abstracts that I started to do in a grid. Uh, did this in watercolor from a photo at school. Uh, these two looked a little bit better before I um, tried using some wax cold wax to put over top because these pages kept sticking. So usually I use gouache, which doesn't stick, but I have a lot of acrylic paint and a lot of the same color. So I thought, oh, I'll give it a try, but it's irritating me because the pages keep sticking. And I have been trying some different methods on how to get it to not stick. And the first set was the matte medium that I mentioned here. Um, this one I used cold wax. So I went to rub it in and totally forgot that I had used some um, something here that was water soluble and it kind of smudged. So everything looks a little bit gray and a little bit wiped, but it'll be fine. These are some of the, the exercises that I did in uh, Char's art class. Awesome class. It was six weeks, six different mediums with blue shine art. I'll link that below. Just some quick um, 
watercolors that I have done. Uh, these were done on some toned paper and I just taped them here. This is gouache, some of the little uh, thumbnail sketches that I did. This was in a staff meeting. Uh, another one of the school from the path. And we've got a couple of other quick ones here. These ones I started with the Karan, Karan Dash gouache pans as a first layer, and I didn't go back to them to add second layers. I may, I might, I might not. Here's one with colored pencils. Some squirrels were up in the tree eating the buds. Uh, this is a continuous line drawing of the church in Baluda Bay, St. Julian's, Malta, called Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And this is the ocean here with the, the steps going down. It's a, such a beautiful, beautiful building and a beautiful spot. Oh, here's also a wax medium fail. Uh, I used charcoal here and that smudged everywhere. But I do like the colors, so I'm keeping it. Another continuous line drawing. This was uh, probably the first one, first class I did with Toby Hassler, a Tony Urban Sketch on YouTube and Instagram. And he does a continuous line class on Skillshare and um, it's very cool. His stuff is really cool. Another continuous line. This one was of King's Framing and Gallery. It is a art store and gallery um, in Corbeil, Ontario. Might be saying that wrong. Way up north. And um, I had been looking for some things online and this place kept coming up that had the products that I wanted. So I ordered from them. And then I thought, oh, it would be cool to do a road trip one day and go and go to this store to support our local Ontario art stores. But it is very far away. And it's actually in a, um, it's a house. It's not, it's a retail location, but it's at their house in a separate building here. So I thought that was very cool. Another one of the school um, used for a demonstration, but this low horizon line, just to get a difference on how it was from the other one. Another continuous line sketch, this one of a sunset. Some little thumbnails and trying out some different colors. I was doing a class with Maru Godas, um, and this was one of the exercises. Another exercise from that class on Domestica couple of just random things going for some bright on a very dull day I guess not loving it but um, on that day I did a more continuous line with Tony Urban sketch this was a church that he did um, in the demonstration and uh, this was a YouTube video it's called my urban sketching process from Tony Urban sketch and I used my Lamy Safari pen, which I don't have waterproof ink in, so I did not add any color. Uh, continuous line, this one in Bruges. And I used the Karen Dash pan gouache set. And same thing here in Bruges as well. One of my favorite places. And the rest of them are just couple of exercises, continuous line. I tried with that brush pen I love so much, but I really like the fine lines that this, this creates much better. This is with my platinum carbon pen, uh, which I absolutely love, but they are discontinued, so I have to be really careful with it. And that's it. I still have some uh, pages left, and I will update you when I finish those.